Hello and welcome to lesson six, where we're going to take the if, else if and else statements and use them in a bit more of an advanced way to create an authentication program. So the way this program is going to work is actually something you're probably familiar with. Um, we're going to have a system that we try to get access to. So we do that by typing in a username followed by a password. So the computer is going to have a sort of a set of usernames that it will accept. And if this username is correct, then we get prompted for the password. And if the password is correct, then we get access to the system. But if the password is wrong, we go back to start. If the username is wrong, we go back to start. So first, we're going to create a fairly basic version of this program. And our goal is um, going to be to have perhaps two users and two passwords. And we'll see how that works. So let's, we have a, an entitled file here and we can save as authentication. Yes, we'll replace it. Hmm, error. Okay, file, save as, come on. Yes, excellent. So where to start? I suppose the computer should just ask us for a username first. So please enter your username. And then your username equals input. Um, so if the username is a known one, so if username double equals not single, sign in now make sure to um, use these quotation marks because that specifies that um, you know if it matches this particular string now Python might still recognize it without these quotation marks but if there was a variable somewhere else in the program called sign in that would um, mess things up so if username equals sign in then we can simply say well print Hello again. Now, maybe we can just go plus username. Else. No such print. No such username. And I like doing this. Print capital letters. Access denied. All right. Let's try this out. Ah, started a brand new Python shell. That's fine. Put it in there. So we're going to try Bob first. No such username. Access denied. So F5, sign in, hello again, sign in. Excellent. So right now is where we're going to create another uh, if else statement. So it's almost like we're going to use the same code, but we can change it. Check it out. We can paste it here. And then instead of a username, we're taking in a password. So then we take that password and we check if it's the correct password. Password equals to, I don't know, my password can be A, B, C, one, two, three. And what shall we print? We shall print access granted. Granted. And if we're wrong, we can say incorrect password. Incorrect password. Access denied. So, expected an indented block. Ah, yes, because this else happens in there. So, let me just review uh, why this indenting is important. Now, 
the fact that this if begins here means it's inside this first if. So we'll only get prompted for the password if the condition for the username equals signing has been met. And then if it has been met, then we're going to be inside um, this if statement asking, ah, is this password correct? If it is access granted, otherwise access denied. So let's see how this works. We're first going to get access and type in ABC123 access granted. And I'm going to try to get access denied. Sign Ah, hello again, Sanyin. Please enter your password. Should say that. Please enter your password. Excellent, it fits. Space. And I can try something wrong. Incorrect password, access denied. Excellent. So let's just see how far we can push this program. And let's just say, well, let there's another user and the other user is called Bob. And now Bob's going to have a different password. How can we handle that? Well, we can simply say at this stage, if username equals Sanyin or username equals Bob. Now, let's say Bob has a different password. Well, we're only going to say if username equals Sanyin and password equals to ABC123, then granted. And then we're going to have an elif statement. So this is where indenting is tricky. And this is where copying and pasting can lead you in trouble. Um, it has to look like this. So this is it. The username can either be Sanyin or it can be Bob. But if the password is Bob, let's say Bob is a different password. And his password is alpha beta. Alpha beta. OK. Let's try Bob. Bob. Hello again, Bob. Please enter your password. His password is alpha beta. Access granted. Let's try for Bob to get the wrong password. Bob. Da -da. Incorrect password. So excellent. We have a program that works with two usernames that have two different passwords. But as you can see, if somebody was trying to manage, uh, you know, a system with hundreds of users who have hundreds of different passwords, doing it this way would not work, which is why in the next tutorial, we're going to have a look at some more new data types that are going to help us handle this problem. Okay. All right, you got to the end and you may be wondering where can you get the file or a PDF document of the same tutorial. Don't worry, the link is right under the video, which will take you to this page. The whole Python fundamentals course, it is free. And you enroll, you enter, I don't know, we can, I created a, a Gmail account, aussiejoblow at gmail.com. Got a password. And agree to the term, sign up. It could be this easy, I think. And there you are. In pick a tutorial. It'll see the same you'll see the same tutorial as it is on YouTube, and you will have a PDF document that goes with and a downloadable file. So enjoy that and see you later.